Thomas Hoare. The grand dame of British publishing is undoubtedly a remarkable lady called Diana Atthill. And over the past 30 years, she has slowly but surely written an autobiography in parts, which has become definitive. It is not only memorable to read, but it is extremely light, enjoyable, and flavorful fare. And I'm very pleased to welcome the anthologized version of this book, of these books, I should say, which has come our way in recent months, extremely affordably, I might add, uh, and which has filled a gap. Most of the books are now in paperback. They are no longer in hardcover. But this one is in hardcover, and in fact, no more than the paperbacks. I refer to a book called Life Class, and these are the collected memoirs, really, of this remarkable lady who was a publisher for many, many years in London and worked as the number two to a splendid character called Andre Deutsch. And the composition of the book is as follows. She's taken the four real key components of her autobiography and put them together. And these four books, of which this is the total, are Yesterday Morning, which was published in 2003, Instead of a Letter, Somewhere Towards the End, and Stet. All four of them stand on their own, but this, as a collection, means you have one stop shopping and you really don't have to read the others independently. As autobiographies go, this is probably one of the best literary works I've handled in a long, long time. And people who are fond of Diana Atthill and who know the one or the other would do very well to invest in all four because they will not be repeated. Splendid work by a very well-respected lady, now well into her 90s and as perky as can be, a reviewer of great substance who continues to write for the Literary Review in London and who has her tongue firmly in cheek at all times. Light, fun and enormously enjoyable reading. Life Class, Diana Atthill, warmly recommended. And on that cheerful note,